Mm. Eminem moving out before the lurkers are done. Uh, lurkers just got done popping. There is a lurker I got there. He is stimming and running out there. Does want to see if he um, can get uh, a few ling kills, push those zerglings back. But if those are stop lurkers, no, they unburrow. So do they need to get on top of the high ground? Yes. Uh, Ling is coming in for a flank. Lurker's going to run in the front. Oh my goodness, absolutely epic here from Hyun, but he burrows the Lurkers a little bit too late. Oh, and the Zerglings melt before Lurkers can burrow. Oh my goodness, that was such a fail from Hyun. He could have had this game right now if he had run those Lurkers in just a fraction of a second earlier. But the Ling's melted and the m, &M were able to run away. Those medics have got to be low on energy after a couple of stims and uh, engaging those Ling's and uh, Lurkers. So right now, oh, uh... He gets a lurker spine to the grill, and um, right now going to be oh mixing up a factory most likely going to be for siege tanks, which are going to be the uh, game-ending push I feel for Midas as uh, right now Hyun I mean he's got lurkers out there but some scan versus scan plus stim oh my goodness for seeing the lurker break on the front door throw down those bunkers nothing is going to get past that here come in the lurkers. They're going to burrow, be able to put on some pressure on those supply depots, but as soon as Marines get in there, oh my goodness, they are not in range, so does he need to scan? No, he's just, uh, he knows the Lurkers are going to put on the heavy pressure on the supply depots, so he's just going to put in the, uh, put down the bunkers as they can range those with a turret in between. It's going to be a perfect, perfect wall against those Lurkers. Uh, building a rear bunker just in case those first two aren't enough, but a uh, real strong wall, and, uh, Star point now coming up. Hmm. We're gonna be throwing out those medevacs to get the uh, healing support for those marines. Yeah, not really. Um, gonna be going for drop action. Hmm. Science vessels more likely to get the uh, irradiate off on those lurkers, and uh, the lurkers are testing the front door of the Terran base. Do know exactly how much, uh, how many forces there are there. But uh, third ninja base down there in the bottom right hand corner for Hyun. Oh, Stim's take out those um, Zerglings, but Stim is going to run out here pretty soon, and that's just gonna be going to have heavily damaged. Wow, it's hard to say. Um, those Marines, oh, trying to sneak by there, but those Lurkers are way too fat. Uh, one of them gets taken out and uh, owns a Marine, but not really sure that was totally worth it. Three more Lurkers going to try to move around for the flank. Established position up there on that high ground. Are they going to be stopped? I did not... S don't think so. But uh, right now, that is a pretty darn strong wall. 4C going to be transitioning into... I don't know. Is, he can either go for... Oh, my goodness. Does get a few nice hits off on those Marines. They are going to stim right in there. Where is the scan? Where? Oh, already scanned. Oh, there it is. There we go. And right now, whoa, those Lurkers getting way too much damage done. Oh, stims the Marine and runs it away with the three medics. So, uh... Right now, lost that M&M &M ball there for uh, uh, Midas, but uh, Hyun is not looking too happy as he does know he has a long way to go. And I just dropped my phone. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Anyways, back to the matter at hand, uh, we've got the uh, third base getting saturated there for Hyun, and if he can let that economy start kicking in, the Zerg Menace is going to be pushing out real strong on uh, Midas's front door. Does have Siege Tech out, and then it's going to support the M&M &M real nicely. They'll have a nice uh, contain to run back to. Um, but right now, uh, Midas is firmly entrenched. He does that Terran Turtle style play back from the olden days so well. Uh, Queen's Death's coming up, as well as the Spires, so um, probably going to see uh, Lair Tech, or Hive Tech, pretty soon as he transitions into a uh, swarm with Lurkers. But uh, Tank's moving out right now. I'm not sure how they fit through the supply, through those. Uh, Bunker says, I do not play Brood War enough to recognize those teeny little uh, holes or the fatness of the units. Well, relatively. Anyways, um, Spire almost done, and uh, as well as the Queen's Nest, but throwing out another production hatchery, so I don't know. That uh, third base is super vulnerable, but I don't think Midas knows about it, so it's pretty safe and uh, nicely supplementing that uh, income there for. Yeah, the only problem is you're going to have to get the forces out of there somehow, and sooner or later, uh, Midas is going to see where that is, and then you're going to lose it, and that, oh my goodness, giant lurker spikes, absolutely clutch, um, probably should have moved those, uh, marines back a little bit, but as such, he does still have a giant m and army, don't let those lurkers die, okay, Hyun, uh, notices that, oh, but scan on top of the lurkers, 
Ah, oh, so good with the Gosu scan there for uh, for Midas. And right now, some creep colonies or rather sunken colonies morphing in down there at the bottom right hand location. That was bottom right. Nah, it should have been the natural. Maybe I just didn't see where the little white box was. Yeah, it was the natural. And so I'm in positioning outside, sieging up the tanks. Gonna try to siege those lurkers. And gonna siege. Oh my goodness, just out of range of that. Uh, Sunken Colony, Ling's running in to no avail, trying to get a couple of splash hits off. Oh, and a nice Lurker Trap. Oh my goodness, melting those Marines. Awesome. So, uh, kills off the reinforcements a little bit. Right now, massive M&M Ball moving in. Scourge on the Science Vessel. Oh my goodness, fail Scourge stopped just short of the Science Vessel. And right now, there are tons of Lurkers, and uh, that is the Zoom of Doom on Hyun, as uh, apparently the uh, Korean commentators are not too happy with the... Uh, his chances for winning right now. Massive M&M &M ball. Oh my goodness. And Tank's just going to soften up the defenses. Did I just say soften? Well, I guess there's a T in there. Anyways, going to be stamina moving in with the M&M &M ball. And not a lot of drones there at that expansion. So, they either died or ran in. Oh my goodness, one more hit. All that. Oh man. One more hit left on that tank. Needs to run over and insert for the Zerglings, but don't think it quite has the presence of mind in the APM. And right now, Ling's trying to get it done all over that, but just winding up dying those massive M&M balls. And here comes in the M&M. Gonna be able to take down the natural expansion. No problemo. And uh, I think I just stole that from Husky, but whatever. Gonna be able to siege on some of those lurkers. Not gonna get it done with the lurkers. Spikes. Siege tanks versus lurkers. Always slightly one-sided as long as there's detection from that science vessel or scan or something like that. Bottom right-hand base. Gonna be... Pretty secure right now, but uh, lurkers versus marines. Yeah, that was pretty, uh, pretty awesome there. But uh, absolutely nothing gonna be preventing C or Midas rather from moving into this natural. Got plenty of detection from the science vessel. Lurkers moving in from the back. Ah, oh, but GG from Hyun. Knows he had no economy, no military, and uh, could not get it done against that M and M tank push. So uh, there goes Midas. Uh, definitely a real strong counter to Hyun. So pulling it back even two to two, and um, uh, evening the set back up. So gonna be bringing moving on to uh, game five uh, here pretty soon between uh, these two fine fine teams. Let's see who can uh, pull off the ace. Actually, no, 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 no. It's a seven game set. So moving on to game five, regardless. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, thumbs up, whatever you guys want to do, and I will see you guys in game five. GG, guys.